Hey, perhaps Garen, the Amiga of the Tulsa world, right toward the middle. How's it going? Hey, there, there you are. Welcome to the conference. Uh, Thank you. How, how do you look at the situation with uh, Oklahoma and Texas? Is it, a, is it a distraction for you with everything that you've got to tackle right out of the gate? Have you, have you had a chance to build any relationships in Austin or Norman? Something that I know you're, you're going to want to see is important as they move forward as well. Well, first of all, the folks from Texas, both the president and AD, as well as at Oklahoma, they've been very gracious to me. Uh, they were part of the process and me getting hired. So I appreciate the support that I received. I'm sure there's going to be a moment in time where we're going to sit down and discuss the future. Obviously, I don't start till August 1, and I look forward to doing that. And um, that's really all I can say at this point in time. Uh, I'm Roy Richardson from orangebloods.com. Uh, Congratulations on the job. Thank you. Um, as a follow-up to the Texas OU question, is it your goal for Texas and new OU to remain in this conference throughout the remainder of that contract? Or with new teams coming in, does it behoove you to maybe try to figure out ways for you guys to part ways a little bit sooner? From my perspective, and again, I don't start till August 1. I have a lot to learn. But in any situation like this, I always look for a win-win scenario. That being said, it's important that whatever happens is in the best interest of this conference. But I look forward at the right time to have those conversations. But thank you for your question. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.